Jeg har den seneste tid gennemlæst The Secret Footballers bog og hans klummer for at samle så mange ledetråde som muligt i forsøget på at kæde dem sammen med, hvad jeg har fundet frem til af disse otte hovedmistænkte engelske fodboldspillere. I sidste ende indsnævrede jeg de mange oplysninger ned til de 14 vigtigste ledetråde. Have you ever heard about the secret footballer? Oh uh, yeah, I have. I, I think it's Danny Murphy. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it's Nicky Shaw, you know. Someone told me it might have been uh, P Peter Crouch, maybe. I don't know that. Either. I've heard it's Paul Konczewski. Is it? Is it Andy Johnson? Someone told me that was Kevin Davis. Yeah, I heard online it was well, something to do with Kevin Nolan, I believe. Men som de begyndte at falde fra den ene efter den anden efter den tredje, så var der kun én fodboldspiller, hvis karriere stemte overens med alle 14 spor. Have you ever heard about the secret footballer? I think it's Dave Kitson. I'm sure it is. At det er Dave Kitson, som er the secret footballer, er ikke noget sensationelt gæt. For den her hjemmeside, Who is the secret footballer, så er han den spiller, som har fået flest stemmer. Og i et interview med BBC's Radio 5 Live i sidste uge fortalte The Secret Footballer under anonymitet selvfølgelig, at der er mange i fodboldmiljøet, som ved, hvem han er. Men der er indtil nu intet endegyldigt bevis på, at det er Dave Kitson, som er The Secret Footballer. Derfor tog vi til Sheffield for at møde ham og for at finde det bevis. Under påskud om at interviewe ham om den kommende FA Cup kamp mellem Sheffield United, Kitsons nuværende klub og Reading, Kitsons tidligere klub, så fik vi lov til at snakke med manden. Uh, Dave, looking forward to playing your old club? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it'll be nice to go back. I'd be I virkeligheden var jeg reelt kun interesseret i at få besvaret et bestemt spørgsmål. Have you ever been I've, to them? Yeah, yeah, I've been to. I went to when I was a kid. We went to Legoland when I was. Uh, I can't even remember 10 or 9 or something like that. It's my dad to thank for that. It's a very, very unique individual. So um, we didn't do the conventional holidays, sun and all the rest of it. Plus we've got three kids with red heads, so we couldn't go and sit in the in Benidorm on the beach. We had to go to uh, we had to go to Denmark. Why is it you think Dave Kitson is a secret footballer? Well, um, in the book it says, while some of my friends went for the traditional beach holiday, Dad would think nothing of driving to Denmark for two weeks on a farm. 